Ms. Shu, I had her for business and personal finance last semester. It was a lot of fun, mostly thanks to Ms. Shu. Uh, I would go in there all the time and she and I would talk about Doctor Who and Sherlock and other and lots of fun British things and she would tell all sorts of really fun stories, get the whole class laughing. And that was a lot of fun. Um, the last day of class, finals, she brought in her 50th anniversary book on Doctor Who for me to enjoy. And that was really, really cool, so I'm going to miss her. Hi, my name is Drew. Um, Ms. Shudnik was my homie teacher. Um, she was such a good teacher. She touched my life in so many ways. Um, I just, I don't know. It's just going to be so, so different without her. I don't know what, it, what it's going to be like. It's, it's going to be tough. Um, but I know she was a good person. I used to say hi and stop at her class and say talk to her for a little bit. But I wrote a poem yesterday, and this is the picture I drew. So yeah, and the name of the um, poem is "Death Is Life to Me." It's a pretty deep poem that I've created, and here it is. I'm deaf, and deaf is us. I'm surrounded by death, or is life meaningless to us, or is this how we feel? And we feel nothing but death is around us. It's a poem meaning that loved ones die, but we can still stand our ground, but they will never leave. We will never lose their memory and what happened to them because they're within our hearts. So that's the whole point I wrote that poem. I had Mrs. Shutnik for computer app 7th hour last year. And all I can say really is that she was an amazing teacher and an amazing woman and she loved all of the students that she had, even the ones that she didn't know real well. And you could be upset about something and hurt, but she would never push you to tell her what it was, but you knew you could always go to her. She was determined and always happy and always looking on the bright side of things. And she could just make her day with just one little smile. And it's really going to be hard not having her here. And I know it sounds really cheesy, but I really do think that she's left a piece of herself in each and every one of our hearts that knew her. And I'm really sorry for everyone who lost such an amazing, wonderful person. I loved her. That's all I can say. I was lucky enough to know Ms. Shu for the past three years. I'm a senior this year, and each and every year I was able to have an interaction with her, whether it was a study hall my freshman year or classes my junior and senior, or my junior and sophomore year. And she's someone that cannot be replaced. What she brought to DDHS was something unique to anything, not just education. She was one of those people that when she stepped into a room, you knew she was there. And she touched the lives of everyone else that was there. I was lucky enough, I guess, that she, she told me a little bit about herself and her story. And the path she took to get from where she was to where she is now. And she had an incredible journey. Better than her, more in depth and crazy than a lot of us can imagine, but I can't thank her enough for what she did for me and for all my students, all my fellow peer students. She put together an environment where it was easy to learn, and if, even if it wasn't for you, she made an opportunity that you could come in and see her and you could learn more. She's the reason that I want to pursue a business career. What she instilled in me 
is what I want to do for the rest of my life. It's hard, but at the end of the day, you have to look for the positives. And the positives that she brought into us as a school won't be easily forgotten. She may be gone now, but the impact she brought with her will stay with DDHS forever. She will always be a part of these halls. She was an alumni here, correct, Max? And she was one of those people that blood blew all the way through. And she was just an amazing person all around. I love to miss you. I still do. We're going to miss you. Miss Shu was my teacher since freshman year. I've had her for every year I've had in high school. And uh, I, I have nothing bad to say about that woman. That woman was absolutely incredible. She had one of the best personalities I've ever met in my life. She had a smile on her face every day. There was, she never, I mean, when, even when she was mad, she kind of found something positive to think out of that. She was incredible and she loved her family. I just want everyone to know that she talked about her parents and her husband and her brothers and sisters and her kids every day. She had a story to tell every day. Um, and uh, something that me and her kind of had, we kind of had an inside joke about these, uh, this candy she would give out to kids if they got like answers right and stuff. And um, I would kind of sneak in her room every once in a while and steal her blow pops. And she told me once at the end of the year, she told me, Dominique, you owe me a, a bag of blow pops. And I said, Miss Shoe, I'll get you a bag of blow pops. So this one right here, this is for you, Miss Shoe. So Miss Shoe was Louise and I's consumer law teacher, personal um, finance teacher, and our business concept teacher. Um, the woman was incredibly smart. She knew everything. She she didn't even have to, you know, she could tell us things without even looking at the board. She knew exactly what she was talking about, and you can tell she loved what she did. Um, she was just full of light, and uh, it's something that we're really going to miss here. Um, it's really sad I only had one day with her this year to talk to her. But uh, I'm going to miss her for the rest of my life. She's taught me things that I will take on to my life until the day, until, you know, the day I die too, so. Um, she's the school lost a very important teacher and a very good person. And, uh, she had a very positive attitude all the time. She was always laughing and she just never really got mad at anyone. That's why I liked her so much. So I enjoyed coming to her class. She was just an awesome teacher in general, so. And I, I looked forward to going to her class. She had one of those laughs that you it was contagious. You know, she yeah. had those, that loud laugh, and everyone in the room would laugh too. She's she had some jokes too. She was a very yeah, funny woman. She was awesome. Though. She was great. I just yeah, she was a really nice lady. We're gonna miss her a lot. Rest in peace, Miss Shu. Um, Miss Dick, we're really going to miss you. You touched all of our lives in such a positive way. And I remember my first day of class with you, I told you I wanted to be an animator, and even though it was really unlikely and it's very competitive, you pushed me um, to follow my dreams, and you were so helpful in all the business classes, and um, we're really going to miss you. Mishu, you were like a heck of a cook, and it was really amazing being in your homeroom and stuff, and, um, but you were really special to us in the homeroom and special to everyone, but really special to me because you were just amazing and really nice and, well, yeah, you're just really awesome. And I know you're the best teacher and stuff. And I know things will be different, but you'll always be in our memories. Um, my name is Shootneck. Um, I never really had you in class or anything, but you really took it from me. I don't know who I was and what I did. I really sorry for checking in and I really appreciated that. And I was just thank you and I'm sorry we never really got to have more time together. When I think of Carrie, um, it, it's hard not to think about somebody that's just so excited about everything that's happening. I got the pleasure of uh, teaching a class right across the hall from Carrie and from a coach's standpoint and from a um, uh, athletic director standpoint, I always think that Carrie would have been a heck of a coach because her voice could carry anywhere across the hall, oh, without a doubt. I mean, I think I would have to close my door in my net phys room because Carrie, what Carrie was talking about, would kind of overdrawn at times. But it was just purely because of her excitement, her excitement for the kids, her excitement for teaching, her excitement for running like the reality fair to setting things up. Um, and, and I know you've heard it probably a thousand different times from different people 
but um, she was here for our students. She was here because she truly loved being here, and um, she'll be truly missed without a doubt. Thank you for all your time. I only knew Carrie for uh, one year. Um, some things I remember about her. Um, never saw her outside of the classroom. She always would share about her family uh, and about her kids. I remember uh, throughout the past school year, she would always break to me and um, but how many times she had watched the movie Frozen and, and how, how many lines she had memorized from the movie and the songs and stuff like that. Uh, I remember we watched, we worked a dance together and um, and that happened in the movie that was playing. So I always remember that about Carrie. Um, I had the privilege to be in her classroom a number of times too and um, you know when I thought about what to say about that I just think you know she was really teaching the right subject for her. Uh, she, how well she related to the kids. Um, about their, you know, their personal finance and how much she had a passion to, to share life stories with them um, and just relate what they were learning to um, their life later on it was something that she was very passionate about. I have worked with Carrie at the Delavandarian High School for the last three years. Uh, this would have been our fourth year of working together. Um, in those three years I've enjoyed getting to know Carrie and her uh, bright and contagious personality. Um, you can always tell that it's Carrie in the hallway by her unique laugh. Uh, I've enjoyed getting to know Carrie and hearing her talk about her kids and about her husband and her family. Um, I've also been impressed with the way that Carrie has in a short time really built the department and become a leader in the department and the way that she's built uh, partnerships with the community. Um, it's been really great to know her uh, and she will be deeply missed by everyone in our uh, on our staff and in our community. What I will remember about Carrie is that she was hilarious. She could take the most mundane event and turn it into a stand-up comedy routine. But in the next minute, she could really bring you back to reality by telling you a story about how it felt to have your lunch tray taken away if you didn't have enough money to pay for lunch. So she really brought a lot of heart to um, everything she did and that will be dearly missed. I think there's a story about Carrie um, that kind of uh, expresses wh what she was all about. Um, earlier this morning I got a call from Joel, Carrie's husband, and he said, he said, Mark, I've got to stop at school. Um, I've got Carrie's car um, and it's full of backpacks and school supplies um, that she bought for students at DDHS. Um, Carrie was a giver. Um, she gave in the classroom when I talked to her homeroom students. They talked about breakfast she made for them on her birthday or treats they had before Christmas. Um, we talked about the Common Care Center, which was about reaching out to students that needed all kinds of things um, that they were having a, d a tough time obtaining. Um, and she was a leader in what we call the reality fair or reality check and helping, learn, uh, helping students learn uh, what it's like in terms of finances in the real world. Um, we are going to miss her so, so terribly. Um, but she, her spirit lives on in our students and in our staff, and I'm just glad I had a chance to work with her for three years. My name is uh, Quincy Perry. I was a good student at Miss Shootneck, and uh, I, I mean, there's not, I don't really to set this off. Miss Shoe, Miss Shoe was a great person, and uh, she was more than just a teacher to me and to a lot of students. She was, she was a friend. She, she really understood everybody. She was funny. She tried to uh, to reach out to those who, you know, didn't have anything. Uh, my junior year, Ms. Shu really helped me when I was struggling. Um, she allowed me to stay up to class and uh, work with her, and she'd tell me all these funny stories about her sister, and she always loved to talk about her kids and her family. And you could tell that she was, you know, she loved her family very much. And uh, I'm really, really sorry for you guys' loss. Um, we're really going to miss Miss Shunick at TDHS. Definitely really going to miss her. She's a great woman, great teacher, great friend. And I'm sure she was a great mother. Um, not much more I can really say.
nothing better than watching you smile. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ain't nothing better than watching you laugh out loud, my baby. Ain't nothing better than watching you be you. Ain't nothing better than right now. In your eyes lie the secrets I don't wanna miss. Put your hand in my hand and make a fist. Grab my shirt, curl your lip as if you know. Staring back in my eyes, saying, Please don't go. I don't know what I know what I know what I know what it is that you really, really want or you need. I hate every moment away from you. I see you sleeping in my dreams. I know you're in your mother's Let us have this moment without you 